Welcome to Blade HQ, everybody. Today is July 24th, 2023, and we are talking new knives. Let's get into it. First knife on the table is the new Sencut Slashkin. And this one feels kind of tactical to me. Most of the Sencut line has felt very everyday carry oriented, but this one got a nice big handle, a good guard. You can choke up if you want to do some more fine stuff. But that thing feels like something that wants to spend some time in the pocket of a police officer. Very utility designed knife. And the name Slashkin, most of the Sencut line comes with names from cities in Texas. And I've lived in Texas for a couple of years. And I saw this, I'm like, Slashkin ain't no Texas town I ever heard of. So I looked it up, turns out it's not. I did, however, manage to find a Russian trumpeteer named Abbas Slashkin. So it's named after a Russian trumpeteer. Do with that what you will. These are going for $41.65 at bladehq.com right now. Great knives. And with this slicey, slicey, slicey hollow grind right there, it is so deep. Here, let me grab this paper. It just, it just glides through paper. It is super nice to cut with. A nice big blade, a nice big handle. Choke up if you feel up for it. Excellent, excellent everyday carry knife with a nice tactical spin on it, in my opinion. Speaking of tactical, next up we have the Condor Knives Fighter. Now Condor is made in El Salvador and their knives are typically known for their bushcraft applications. They make a lot of machetes too. And this is the first one that I've seen that I felt was a purpose-built tactical tool. It's got a sheath. The sheath reminds me a lot of those uh, K-Bar Beckers that have been coming out lately. The Harpoon and the Nesmuk both have a sheath a lot like this one. But this one, feels super, like the retention is right there. You can move the strap to the other side if you want. You can mount it upside down, vertical, sideways, whatever on a molly vest or on a pack. And then in classic Condor fashion, you get a nice tough carbon steel. This one's a black coating with this injection molded handle. It's nice and big, so if you're wearing gloves or you have really big hands, it'll fit. But it, it's not so restrictive to big hands. Like I, my hands are fairly normal sized. And I have quite a bit of real estate left over, but it's a nice, comfortable knife still. And a very thin and light blade, which makes for really fast slashing. I wish I had Tomas Loss from the Tactical Tavern here. He's actually trained in martial arts, and he'd have a lot more useful things to say about knife fighting, but this one's the Condor Fighter, and you can get it for $78 and one penny right at bladehq.com right now. These ones are really cool, and they're very light too. I'm excited about these. Next up, new from Bradford Knives, is the Guardian 3.2. So I personally really love the Guardian 3 series, but the new thing for this one is, look at this little finger nubbin right here. So generally on the old Guardians, we'll see if we can flash a picture up here or something, we get a edge that comes all the way to the choil here. And that's really great if you want that precise control and getting right there. And it's nice and easy to sharpen too. But some people, especially those with a bit chubbier fingers, we're gripping the knife where you're supposed to, and this little piece of meat in the finger was running up to the edge. People would cut themselves. So, Bradford Larkin, the magnificent man he is, listened and saw the problem and fixed it. So if you've got some of those bigger fingers and the Bradford Guardian 3 is one that might cut you, the 3.2 is here to help you out. And this one comes with a magna cut blade, because why not? If you're gonna make an awesome knife, make it extra awesome. Yeah. This is a very exciting knife and it is going for $179 right now. A lot of it is still the same from the original Guardian 3 series. You're gonna love everything about it. Check it out right now. That go, changes on price depending on what handle material you're going with, but this particular one is $179. Next up from Finch Knives, we have the Finch Shiv. And this one, I, like the blade reminds me of a Swayback blade. And the handle, I'm kind of getting that, but... I mean, you hear the name Shiv, and I mean, we all know what this is for. I won't get into it, but this is the Shiv. Super light, super flicky action, 14C 28N blade, skeletonized steel liners, milled pocket clip here on the back. Very slick everyday carry knife. And if you, if you have ever used your keys to open a package, you know that something a lot like this will help you even more because keys are nature's Shiv, one could call them. In fact, you see people who will put their keys between their knuckles in sketchy parts of the neighborhood. This will open your packages even better than your keys if you catch my drift. These are going for 79 at bladehq.com right now. Check website for current pricing. Next up, we have the Giant Mouse Nimbus V3. 
So the Nimbus V3 is a few updates from the original Nimbus series. Some of them are ergonomic, some are milling in the liners and all that, but the big update, the elephant in the room here is this MagnaCut blade steel. I called it once in an article that 2023 was going to be the year of MagnaCut. And for once my prophecy was correct. MagnaCut is in all facets of the knife world now and it is here to stay. And you'll see it on great knives like this Nimbus V3. I love the Nimbus because it's edge is kind of swept up so that way if you're going to cut against a table so you're like cooking food at the campsite it's going to be nice and easy to keep your knuckles clear of the board and still have plenty of room to cut stuff so it's a great camp knife it's a great everyday carry knife if you you know prepare your own apple at lunch or whatever excellent excellent well done build from giant mouse this goes for 215 right now and it's, it's great. Love the wire clip too, reversible for, for all you lefties out there. And the last on the table, we have two new variations of the CJRB Pyrite that we've all come to know and love. The first is the reverse Tanto version. And this one is, has another special update. It has a thumb hole opener instead of a thumb stud. And I really appreciate that because that gives you a bit more slicing capabilities because on thumb studs, say on this Slashkin, I mean, this one actually is pretty well done too because they backed it up to the edge. But if you're cutting this way, you can run into the thumb stud if you're cutting something big like an apple or if you're batoning wood or something. But this one, no trouble at all. You're not gonna run into it, you have a nice finger hole. Many people prefer thumb studs, I generally do. I find them easier to actuate. But I appreciate that they're looking out for you thumb hole guys out there too. And then also we have the large pyrite. So this is the same handle as the original pyrite here on this one they have blown it up quite a bit. So a lot of people have the pie right and they're like, this is great, I just want a little bit more edge, I want a little bit more meat, I want something I can take camping, I want something I can take hunting, something that can take a little bit more of, a, of the beating. And that's where the large pie right comes in and my goodness, does this thing feel good. The, the finger choil is big enough to actually choke up in, you've got a really long blade, what a nice knife. Really well done. These are going for $69.95, so in classic CJRB fashion, very affordable pricing. Anyway, that's new knives for the week. We hope you've enjoyed. Let us know what you like in the comments. Subscribe to see more knife content. We'll see you next time.